Hello everyone, Hybrid Panda here and welcome to Shrine Watch and Dead by Daylight like News, episode number 57. The weekly show we go and check out news coming out of the community, have a look at some memes and also look at the four new perks in the Shrine of Secrets and then take them into some games and see if we can own. The Shrine is active from the 21st of August through to the 27th of August. So the big news this week is obviously that chapter 13 is Stranger Things, it's been confirmed and we've also got quite a lot of information about this chapter available for us to check out. We can see that the killer is the Demogorgon, the two survivors are Nancy Wheeler and Steve Harrington and the new map is Hawkins National Laboratory, the Underground Complex. So the Underground Complex, obviously it's going to be an indoor map, it's not going to have any outdoor at all which is quite interesting so hopefully a lot better than the game map because the game map is one of those indoor maps but it kind of sucks. And regarding this DLC my main question here is that because we're getting two survivors are we going to be getting six perks or are we going to be getting three perks? The community seems very torn on this and half of them are saying we're going to get three perks and it's going to be on either character and half of them are saying we're going to get six perks. It would make sense to have six perks since we did not get a survivor for the Ghostface DLC but the idea of them adding nine new perks into Dead by Daylight and having to put, uh, balance them all in one patch does seem like there's going to be a lot of problems. But if we think about it and we look back at our previous DLCs, every single character is pretty much shipped with one perk that completely sucks. On Ash, we've got Buckle Up. On Jeff, we've got Breakdown. On Jane, we've got Solidarity. Just perks that no one's ever going to use and pretty much just filler perks that they add on there to, to basically pad out the DLC. The devs have confirmed that these are two separate characters though. They're not like Legion where it's one character with different clothes. So we are definitely getting two survivors here. But what about the killer? What is the killer's ability and what do we know? Well, if you go onto Steam and type in Stranger Things, it will actually already show you the Stranger Things DLC, which I think is a bit of a mistake, a bit of a leak. And on that page, we've got four images that we can use to try and get information about this killer. Let's have a look at them right now. So our first image, very uninteresting. We've got Steve and Nancy both running away from the Demogorgon. What can we tell about the Demogorgon? It's tall, it's white, and it's very monstrous. Dead by Dale have always said that they don't want to do monster killers, and I think they probably wanted to keep that, but when the opportunity for Stranger Things arose, they jumped on it. So finally, we are getting a monstrous killer in Dead by Daylight. Our second picture appears to be from the Mori animation because of the camera angle and stuff like that. We see Steve on the ground crawling towards the camera with the Demogorgon behind it with its face fully opened up. And in the other screenshot, we can see that the face is closed. So I'm assuming that for the Mori, the face is going to open up and bite into the survivor or something and do some beautiful animation. Moving over to our third screenshot here, we have the Demogorgon climbing out of an upside down portal type thing on the ground, a little mound. And if we take a look in the top left, we can see that there is a second one of these mounds already there. And then in our fourth image, we can see Nancy and Steve both cleansing or closing or even opening one of these upside down portals. So I was asking around on Twitter, trying to see what people's opinions are on this and what they think it could be. And the general consensus is that it's some way for the Demogorgon to traverse around the map to be able to have some map control. So potentially they can choose a place in the distance, place a tunnel there, and they might bury down into the ground where they are and then pop out over there where they selected. And then afterwards, both of these tunnels are still left in the map, which the Demogorgon could then use to teleport through and tunnel over unless the survivors find it and cleanse it and I guess close it. Other theories include that there could be an upside down realm where the killer can take the survivor and put them into the upside down where they'd be taken out of the game for a little bit and it would increase your momentum as the killer and potentially give the survivor something to do to break out of the upside down. The devs have confirmed that it's nothing like the original Freddy Power with the dream world so we won't be pulling survivors into the upside down which can have to see how this goes, but uh, I'm interested. And let me know in the comment section if you've got any great ideas about what this ability could be. Now, we don't need to speculate too hard because tomorrow on Thursday, the devs are doing a stream where they're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff to do with this DLC. So we are going to find out some, probably all of the information on this chapter tomorrow. I just think this is going to be huge for Dead by Daylight. The Stranger Things DLC trailer that Dead by Daylight uploaded is actually number one on trending in gaming and millions of people have already seen that trailer which should bring quite a lot of new eyes and new players to the game to at least come and test it out and see you know, big Stranger Things fans, come and see if they actually enjoy the DLC. So when is the PTB coming up? The PTB being the public test build, where PC players can go on, try out the new chapter, try and find some bugs, just try and make sure everything's balanced and actually works right before the official launch. 
before we didn't have PTBs, the chapter would go live and there would always be problems and bugs and everyone would be really frustrated. So uh, unfortunately, it's not available for console players because the architecture is just not there to have a public test server. But rest assured, us over on PC are going to do our best to find the bugs and make sure that when it ships, it's fully polished. But when is it coming? Well, in my opinion, the PTB will be starting this Tuesday and the snapshot that they take will be taken on Friday. So if you are planning on playing on the PTB and you want to level up either Nancy or Steve or the Demogorgon, then I really suggest having a million blood points saved up by Friday, because on Friday, they'll take a snapshot, which will then be transferred over to the PTB and any progress that you've got when that snapshot is taken will be transferred. So that way you'll be able to spend a million blood points on any of these characters, level them up and actually play with them properly on the PTB. I will, of course, be covering the PTB, the killer and the survivors and all the perks and everything when it comes about. And we'll be following this chapter until its release. But that's really the big news this week. It's just Stranger Things, Stranger Things and Stranger Things. And just out on the store, we have the War is Hell collection. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. We have Mother Mercy Nurse looking absolutely horrific. A nice twisted weapon. Her leg is completely eaten away. Uh, oh my God, this is such a nice set. I'm so happy to be able to actually look around this. Very, very attractive. And with this, we also got the Flying Ace set where we've got Ace looking like a fucking beast with a beautiful leather jacket on, a nice hat with an eye patch, and some uh, baggy uh, aviation trousers. Honestly, two really, really nice sets here. Also, this week I started up my August Astro A40 giveaway. Astro sponsors me and gives me one of these pair of beautiful headsets to give away every single month. If you want to enter that, the top link in the description takes you to Gleam, and where you get various entries for different things. If you're already subbed over here on YouTube, then that's a free entry, so you might as well go and use it. Why not? So moving over to the Shrine Watch portion of the show where we go and check out the Shrine of Secrets. And this week we actually have a pretty great week. I'm very, very pleased with it. Starting with Survivor Perks, our first perk is very uninteresting. It's been on the Shrine 10 times. It's a Quentin Smith and it is Wake Up. Once the fifth generator has been repaired, you can see the auras at exit gates and you can open them faster. Our second perk on the Shrine this week is a Jeff Johansson perk and it's a very powerful perk. It's first time on the Shrine, we have Distortion. Distortion starts the match with three tokens and every time that the killer would see your aura, Distortion loses a token and you lose your scratch marks for 10 seconds. So why is Distortion a good perk? Well, Distortion was the first time that the survivors got the ability to actually 100% confirm a handful of perks if the killer has them. These are, of course, the aura reading perks. So barbecue and chili, if you're far away from the hook and you lose a stack of distortion, you know 100% the killer has barbecue and chili. If you're near the killer and you're healing and you lose a stack of distortion, you know that the killer has Nurse's Calling. If you complete a generator and you lose a stack of distortion, you know that the killer has Bitter Murmur. Being chased by the killer and you vault through a window and lose a stack, the killer's got all ears. Blood Warden, if you walk into the exit zone and you lose a stack of distortion, you know the killer has Blood Warden, you can play around that or leave the game. And finally, if you're going down into the basement and you lose a stack of distortion, you know that the killer has Territorial Imperative and you can play around that. So on top of being able to find out if the killer has these very powerful perks, and alongside getting this knowledge about which perks the killer could have, it also gives you the ability to run away from the killer while you're being chased because you leave no scratch marks when it's been activated for 10 seconds. So if you were mid-chase and you healed yourself for a fraction of a second and distortion went off, you could run away for 10 seconds and the killer's not necessarily going to know which way you went because you're not leaving any scratch marks. So they might think that you're hiding somewhere nearby and meanwhile you've made a running escape and you've dashed away absolutely miles and hidden somewhere else. Lovely perk, I really do like it. And moving over to our killer perks this week, our first perk is a plague perk. It's first time on the shrine as well, which is just beautiful. And it is corrupt intervention. When starting a match, the entity will block off the three furthest generators away from the killer, meaning that only four generators are able to be worked on in the first two minutes of the game. This perk works especially well, I find at least on the trapper, because it gives you two minutes at the start of the game to go and place some traps, pick up some traps, and you don't need to be too worried that someone's on the other end of the map just chunking away on a generator, because the four generators closest to you are going to be the only ones that are going to be able to be used. You can patrol them a lot more efficiently, but keep in mind after the two minutes are done, you will not have any use of this perk for the rest of the game. And our fourth perk on the shrine this week is every killer's favorite perk. If you didn't get it last time, well, here you go. It's up here. If you're a new player, get it, get it, get it, get it. Third time on the shrine, we have Leatherface's Barbecue and Chili. When hooking a survivor, if there are any other survivors more than 40 meters away, you'll be able to see their aura for four seconds. This gives you a great idea of where the other survivors are in the game if they are more than 40 meters away from you and lets you go over there and actually know which way you're chasing instead of going the wrong way and wasting a bunch of your time. Keep in mind that you can circumvent Barbecue and Chili by getting into a locker before it pops 
And also, of course, if you have distortion, that will block barbecue. But the reason that everyone loves barbecue so much and why it's such a great perk for killer is that every time that you individually hook each survivor, you'll get one stack on this perk. And each stack gives you 25% more blood points for the entire game. So if you can at least hook each survivor one time, you will be doubling your blood point gain for that match. This is why this is a really, really important perk if you're starting DBD, or you're starting to play killer, because if you can get this, it's gonna just pump up your farm and it's basically gonna make you just get blood points 100% faster. So there are perks of the week and what are my picks? Well, if you're a survivor, absolutely grab yourself some distortion, wake up kind of sucks and it's been on the shrine 10 times, you've probably already got it, but distortion, it gives you that ability to know which perks the killer's got. And if you're playing survivor with friends, you only need one person with this perk trying to figure out what perks the killer's got. And if you can report that back to your team 100% sure that that is what the killer's using, then your entire team can play around that. And for killer, well, I'm obviously gonna say take barbecue and chili if you don't already have it. It doesn't come on the shrine very often, so grab it while you can. It's gonna help out your grind so much. But if you are one of the people that already has barbecue and chili, corrupt intervention is not a bad perk at all. Okay, so let's take these perks out for a whirl and see how we can do. So for our survivor games, we're gonna play as Jeff. We're gonna use distortion and wake up we're going to use dead hard and head on just for the memes. We'll see if we can get it to work. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can actually get distortion to activate and find out which killer perks they're using. Okay, Yamoka Estate has Jeff. Let's see if we can find out which perks this killer has from just playing the game, just running around and doing shit. Let's find out first of all if we've got a bit of hex ruin here. I am the obsession. Why? I don't want to be the obsession. Come on, Meg. Let's see if we've got hex ruin here. We do not. Oh, shit. Okay, let's just chunk it. Let's just go for it. Gen Rush. Oh, it's a spirit. Jeez, Louise. You didn't see that shit coming, Meg? That's unfortunate. Oh, I wonder if she's got distortion. Not distortion. Uh, What the fuck is the perk called? Okay, I'm not sure if that was 40 meters away. What's the perk called? The lesion perk? Where you know if there's two people on the same gen? I can't remember. But she seems to be leaving. And... She's gone. Alright, let's touch the gen. Maybe she's got surveillance. We will probably find out soon if she does. And she's just been looped over there, or she's at least doing something over there. So let's stay on the gen. And go and save her in a second. I'm not in any massive rush here. She just kicked that generator there. Where's she going? Where's she going? Oh, we got Rancor. Rancor confirmed. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Blend. Oh, my God. Did she not see me there? Don't look, Jeff. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, my God. This person's gone to struggle. Wait, was that my fault? And you let yourself die. Congratulations, Captain Dipshit. All right, come on, David. Let's go. Let's chunk this generator out. All right, we've done one generator. We're going to get a second here. We've already got one person. Oh, shit, but we've got fucking two gens. Nearly three gens done. All right, I'm going to the other end of the map. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, that generator's been done. Let's start working on this one here in the house. Where's the killer? The killer is literally a mile away. We've got some time here. Okay, cool. Survivor's been knocked down. All right, we are going to see here if the killer has got barbecue and chili. Because that's definitely more than 40 meters away. Come on. I really hope that they do have it because that gives you a sense of security being far away because they don't know that you're over here. They don't think that you're over here. They think you're nearby to them. So they don't come and check over at the other end of the map. Really hoping that this is the case. The killer does not have barbecue. Shit. All right, that's a bit unfortunate. But it is going to take her a fucking age to get... Oh, no, crapper. All right, we've got to go in for the saves. God, that person just killing themselves in the hook early on really screwed us up here. Keep chasing, David. Keep chasing. I believe in you. I believe. Okay, the killer's right here. Holy shit. Interesting. Very interesting. Shit. I don't know what to do. I know you're there. I know you're not. I know you're not there. I know you're fucking around. Oh, she's doing it! Meg! Get down from the left! Run, Mrs. President, run! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's got goddamn bamboozle on. Interesting. Interesting. All right, heal. Okay, she does not have nurses calling either. Shit. So I don't think we're actually getting any of these perks to work here. David, what are you doing so close to the killer? 
I want to go do that generator at the other end of the map. Oh, the decisive strike. What a legend. Nice. You can take the brunt of the Rancor then, friend. Injured survivor. Meg, there's a med kit for you. Take that. And boom. All right, Meg's on the go. Heal yourself up. And let's see where the last generators are. Have we three gen ourselves massively? Oh my god, she's on the other end of the damn map. Give me this. All right, and there's the hatch. Holy shit. That is a nice thing to find early on. Hey, did you take that med kit? You better have. Nice! Really nice. Probably the best item I could have found in there in this situation, right? Wait, how am I still the obsession? Did David get a goddamn flashlight save off on her? I thought she had D-strikes. Yes, Meg, let's go. Uh-oh. Okay, we are ready to do the head-on plays. Okay, never mind. She's chased away. Good job, Meg, good job. And we also got to assume that the killer, is, the, the survivor even, that Meg is going to have adrenaline. Look, if you're... If you're a Meg and you don't have adrenaline, what are you doing? Shit, I've just got to go for it. Let's just go for it. We can do this. But the unfortunate thing is that because I'm the obsession, uh, she's going to see where I am and she's going to come and try and rank all my face off, which is going to be a little bit unfortunate. So let's see, where is she? There she is. No one escapes death. Great. Amazing. I don't like it. I don't like it very much at all. Uh, well, we know she's just in that barbecue, so we can pretty much freely run around here without too many issues. Not managed to use any stacks of distortion here, but that's okay. Oh my god. Okay, this is not ideal. Not ideal at all. I'm going to have to just try and open up the gate. Oh, we can open it faster because of wake up. Holy shit. Nice. Oh god, she's going to come straight here and kill me, isn't she? I might just have to leave. Honestly, because I'm dead on the hook. I'm not dead on the hook. She's going to mori me. Fuck it. I'm going in. I'm going in. Big dick Jeff. With his big dick saves. Shit, she went that way. Okay. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. David. Go do some shit. Oh, fuck. David, take the heat. David! Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. We're 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 dead. There's nothing I can do here. Oh shit! All right, game over, man. Game over. Unless. Ooh! I'm still in it to win it. Spirit, do a 360. Oh shit! Fuck! What the fuck? Slice straight through her. Okay, well. Shit. I guess the only saving grace here could be if David's got if David's got deliverance or something. Now nah, we're dead. We're dead. Where was the hatch? Oh, the hatch was over in that corner up there. All right, GG, David, GG. Wait, it's my first hook. <gasps> Come on, Kobe. Come on, Kobe. Give me the four percent. Come on, I'm recording for Shroud Watch. Give me the four percent. Shit. Okay, right. We're dead. Come on, David, get picked up. Have D-Strike. Hey, not Deliverance. Have D-Strike. Have D-Strike. I know you have it. He doesn't have it. All right, good game. Good game to the spirit. Uh, we didn't get any usage out of Distortion there, which fucking blows. But uh, at least we knew that the killer didn't have all of those perks. Ah, uh, damn. Ranked 17 killer. Dude, GG, you did well. You did well. But she didn't morry me. She could have morried me. Okay, so for my killer game, we're going to be playing as the nurse because this new set has just come out. We're going to use Corrupt Intervention, Barbecue and Chili, Devour Hope, and Tinkerer. And as we've got Barbecue and Chili and we're getting blood points, I might as well use my last Gatto. Nurse, let's go slap some survivors with our horribly diseased leg. Okay, here we go. A bit of auto haven wreckers. And look at us. We just look great. I wonder if we can see our dangly manky leg by looking down. I can't see my dangly manky leg. Okay, well, there's my totem in 
a absolutely shocking position. Uh, right, well, let's see if we can spot some survivors here. Obviously, oh, there we go. In the distance, we've got a Jake. Hello, Jake. There we go, sir. I will be hitting you. All right, it's a good start. It's a good Jake. Where the fuck is Jake? Holy shit. All right, they're both hit. Oh, my God. I hadn't expected that shit. All right, nurse. God, the fatigue is so annoying. Hello, Dwight. Dwight! Okay, fucking hell. All right, I need to try and play better here. Shit, we nearly used up an entire minute of our beautiful corrupt intervention. Fuck you, Dwight! Come here, come here. I need my first hook. I need my stack of barbecue. Okay, there we go. All right, first person downed. Let's get him up onto a hook. Also, I hear a generator being worked on here. All right, we're going to have to be careful because they've got three toolboxes. So they could be really, really devastating, these hooks, these generators. Oh, my God, that was quick as fuck. Demons. Hello, Jeff. How is, how's it going? Okay, right. Well, let's go in for this. That's one on Jeff. All right, you really need to fucking focus hard here. Jeffrey. Okay, we've got Jeff down as well. All right, good old nurse. There goes our first stack of Devour Hope. We need to get that shit stacked up. And our totems are protected for another 15 seconds or something like that. Uh, nice. Okay, well, we got two hooks before they did a generator. Oh, they did one generator. Never mind. That's okay. Right, what do we got? We have survivors over this way. Go, nurse, go. Go, nurse, go. Oh, and we want to get Jeff here, right? Uh, not Jeff. Ash. Ace. Fucking... All right. I'm sorry, Dwight. I didn't mean to do that. I honestly was looking after the Jake. Where's Jake gone? Jake has... There he goes. There he goes. You are my target, mister. Come to me. Oh, look at our hand as well. I hadn't even seen that. Cool little glove on our hand. Jake, I've seen you, bud. Yeah, no head on for you. No head on for you. I saw what you were trying to do there. Okay. Right, we're going for our third stack here. And if we can get Dwight up before he gets picked up, which it looks like we might be able to, we might be able to get four and five stacks here at once. This could be absolutely glorious if this works out. Survivors! Wait, where's Dwight? There he is. Okay, right. Oh my god, this is going to be fucking glorious if we can actually get... Um, Devour hope to five stacks. We are going to be beasting here. Okay, one, two, that way. Fine, let's go this way. All right, they're onto the generator. I need to keep them away from that damn totem. That's my number one importance here because it's actually in a good spot. There we go, four stacks. Jake. Jake, he's seen the totem. He must be destroyed. He must be ruined. Where'd you go, Jake? Oh, he's over there? Fuck. Damn it. Damn it. I'm so concerned about this. God damn, Jake. No, my totem location. All right, no, Jake. No. You better have D-Strike. You better have D-Strike because it's happening. He didn't have D-Strike. All right, well, we've got four stacks and we did not alert them to the fact that we've got Devour Hope because we got him out of a locker. So we can get five stacks here and just start morrying people. Mori their faces off, basically. Hello. Hello, Dwight. I'm waiting for the, your friends to be saved. I am. Okay. Shit. He's got... Here we go. Five stacks. All right. Damn it. Come here, Dwight. Damn it. Oh, God. Jake's going to go back for the totem. I've got to go back for Jake. I can't allow them to get the totem cleansed. Jake, you little shit. Jake, that's five stacks. Did you realize this? Did you realize this? All right, he's not... Go, go away from the totem. Fuck away from the totem. And I can let you live. Okay? All right, we can do that. Who's that? Oh, no! The nurse's secret weapon! Accidentally teleporting into the fucking basement. There you are. Come here. Come here, Demon Denson. Shit! Where'd she go? I really worried about that, Jake. 
Back to the totem. No one here. Back out. Where the hell did Kate go? Shit. I lost the terror radius. This is a spooky game. Because this could go both ways. Fucking hell. Is she in this locker? She's not. Oh my god, I've got to defend my fucking totem here. I don't like this. Let's go check over here. No one on the totem. Oh, here we go. All right, it's time to start murdering. Who is that? Who is this? It's Jeff. Oh! All right, Jeff. Welcome to fucking Pain Town. It's Mori time. Strangulate. Oh, he disconnected? Oh. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't mind. Uh, Jeff, you've disappeared. I'll just stroke this nice little plank here. Fucking hell, another generator completed? Oh, hello. Shit. I want it. I need it. Where are you? Where the fuck did she go? Oh, there she is. Oh! No! Stop it, Kate. Stop it. You're embarrassing me here. Oh! Oh. I'm sad. I'm sad. All right, we've got to get the Kate. I'm so worried that... Jake's gonna go get that damn totem, though. Holy shit. Stop. Oh my god, another generator? Dude, these survivors are actually gonna win the game here, I think. Because I've been fucking around too much. Jake. Okay, Jake, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Look, you knew where the totem was. You had to go. Come on, Jake. Kill. Okay, right, and then there were two. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Jake, what have you got all over your mouth? Gross. Absolutely disgusting. He's got jizz all around his lips. Jake. Jake, please. Okay, there we go. One gen left. Two people dead. Are we going to be able to find them and get them, or are we going to get horribly destroyed here? Well, I think this probably... The first one. Where are they? That is the question. Are they all the way down here? Do they know where the totem is? Were they survived with friends? I don't know the answer to any of these questions. Okay, someone's been here at some point. I fully expect that generator or that totem to get destroyed. Like, right about now. Let's go babysit our totem. No! Hello, Kate. You bugger. You little bugger. Where the fuck is she? What? Kate? There she goes. And there she goes again. Damn it. All right, okay, I need to just fuck her up here. You got my totem, Kate. I showed you my totem. And now I'm upset. Damn, nice dead hard. Okay. Holy shit. Holy shit. I don't think they're going to win this. Well, at least we've already got two of them already, but... Shit! No, stop it. Stop being a sausage. Okay. Right, you're knocked down, and we've got to hook her up because we can't mori her because my damn totem got broken, but... Uh, it's going pretty well. Get you hooked up here, and then see if Barbecue and Chili will show us where the final survivor is. Oh, and it's your first hook. Congratulations. Okay, I did not see where the survivor was. So, they're either in a locker or they're close by. I feel like they're close by, right? Are they going to go save her this second? I don't know. Let's go check over here first, though. Okay, generator's still regressing. They're not over here. Where are you, Dr. Head Crusher? Oh, did I just see movement there? I did not. All right, okay, I'm barking up uh, the wrong tree here. Okay, let's go after Dr. Headcrusher and see who it is. And then, hopefully, we can chase down Kate and get the four kill. Okay. Okay, Kate. Who saved you? Who saved you? It's Dwight. And there he is. And we're on to him. Beautiful. 
Whitingtons. Shit. Damn it! Oh my god, inside the fucking thing? All right, let's see. This can be an MLG blink here if I can make this work. Ah! Jesus Christ, I can't believe that worked. Okay, right, well, we've got Dwight on the hook, and then all we've got left is the Kate. Can we hunt her down? Can we win it? Let's find out. She's not healed yet, which is great. Go, 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 Dwight. Are you dead on the hook? He's not wiggling. He is dead on the hook. Shit, and I don't know where the... Oh, okay. Well, that gives me a good idea of where the last survivor is, doesn't it? Hello, Kate. Okay. All right, good game. Good game. Let's get her hooked up. Uh, that was fun. Honestly, Devour Hope working as Nurse. Glorious. And Corrupt Intervention gave us the initial bit of burst there to be able to hunt some people down. Barbecue and Chili let us know where a couple of people were. Overall, I would say that was a good round. All right, GG. Okay, we got the pip, and we're looking absolutely terrifying. Let's give them a, a GG. GG. Okay, no GG for me? That's fine. I don't mind. I don't care. Well, there we are, everyone. Shrine Watch episode 57 wrapping up here. Don't forget, if you want to enter that headset giveaway, the top link in the description, please do subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you have not already. And check my playlist coming up in the outro and the descriptions to see the rest of my DVD content. Have a lovely week. I will see you next time. Panda out.